What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today we're here with my 2023 Tesla Model Y. Where we're going to be installing Tesla's lit door sills. So like I said, this is my Tesla Model Y 2023, but this applies to all Model Ys. Uh, and we're going to be replacing these factory door sills here, which I actually think are pretty nice, but they don't glow. So that's just kind of this matte black, and then this is just glossy black. So when it's dark, it's pretty subtle. Um, so we're gonna be replacing those, and Tesla has some $250, or available in the referral shop, lit door sills that actually have this Model Y part glow. So this is gonna be a little bit of a DIY, uh, and just kind of show you guys what they look like, if I like them, things like that. But first we're gonna start with just kind of wiping down this area. And this is for both of the front pat or the front doors not for the rear because if you look in the rear back here you'll see that there are no door sills back here which is a little bit of a shame i kind of wish they would offer some aftermarket or uh like accessory ones for the rear even if they were just kind of like a mini one that went here i think it would just add a little bit of uh pizzazz to the car but anyway let's wipe this down and then we'll get started and i also want to mention if you like these floor mats i'm a huge fan of these these are from 3d mats these are the kagu uh all weather mats uh, I actually have a discount code and referral link down below, so it can save you some money. I'm a huge fan of these. I've had these on three cars now. Really a huge fan, so definitely recommend those, and there's a discount code down below in the description. So to clean this area, I'm just going to use some Sprayway glass cleaner and a microfiber. Uh, I just want to get kind of all the dust out of the area. This is not one of the official steps from Tesla, but I think it's a good idea, uh, and we're going to be starting with the driver's side. And I apologize, but it is just a bit too hot to be doing all of this outside. So I'm going to unbox these uh, in the car. So you can see Model 3Y lit door sill plates. So these are for both the Model 3 and the Model Y. Quick note from future Brandon, uh, the door sills for Model 3 and Model Y are not the same because they literally say Model 3 or Model Y. It seems that they're just using the same box for them. So just wanted to correct that so I don't sound like a complete idiot. But these are the black version. So if you have an earlier Model 3 that has the chrome door trim, uh, then you're probably going to want the silver version, but I guess you could, you could get the black version too if you wanted. But this is how they come. This is how the box is. Uh, I already cut the seal, but actually pretty well packaged. So they just come out like this. So we're going to take these out. They appear to both be the same as far as I can tell. They both have that little magnet logo there. Um, then you can see the 3D or 3M adhesive on the back and it looks like if you really wanted to you could remove these and replace the batteries but as far as I can tell the batteries are not serviceable otherwise which is a little bit of a shame because uh, these do have batteries in them so they're not going to last forever. Um, at $250 they're not exactly cheap but I got these with the referral shop for 3,000 points which I thought was pretty reasonable. Um, again thank you guys for using my referral code so that I can get things like this from the referral shop. I'm also going to the Cybertruck uh, first delivery event in Austin, Texas, uh, because that was a referral of reward as well. Uh, so Tesla includes some instructions in here. I'm just opening this bag that comes in the package. They actually include some uh, nitrile gloves, it looks like, because they recommend that you use a heat gun to remove the door sills. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really have a practical way to power a heat gun uh, living in an apartment and just doing this in my apartment parking garage, but uh, it's also 95 degrees outside, so I'm not super concerned with the adhesive being a problem. But these are the nitrile gloves that Tesla gives you. I'm just wearing some nitrile, like, uh, like surgical gloves, if you will. Um, but these are more to protect your hands from the heat from the heat gun as you're pulling off the old ones. They give you this pry tool, which is actually seemingly pretty nice. Um, Looks like it's made by Hamai. I don't know. I don't know if you can read that, but that's what it says on it. They also give you some printed instructions. So close and open door. Okay. I guess that's step one. That's weird. Oh, I, okay. So I guess they do sub steps. But anyway, I'll put a link down below, but these are also linked. Um, on the product page for these that I'll also link down below. It's basically, you're gonna be removing the original door sills, but first you have to put these little alignment stickers on. So these, so that way you can know where the original door sills are. So that way you can put these in the exact same spot. So you remove the old ones after you put those on, 
um, you put the new one on after you clean it with alcohol wipes. And then there's these alignment stickers. So, so this is for the left door. So these, they actually have a little diagram to show you which door, which is pretty nice. Um, and I suppose because these are going to multiple markets, they just use left and right because otherwise they would be wrong, uh, depending on if it's UK or whatever. So you basically put this underneath your sticker or under, not your sticker, underneath your speaker grill on the door. And then you align that arrow with this arrow. And then that's where you put the little sensor. And then that's what activates the um, actual door sills. But let me see, where are the thingies? Okay. So it must just be kind of a Hall effect sensor, I guess. And then these are the little things that you put on the underside of the door. They actually say Tesla on them, which is kind of nice. And then we've got some alcohol prep wipes. So pure alcohol towels, pretty nice. Uh, so I must say, it, this is a pretty comprehensive kit. Uh, basically the only thing that you would need that's not included in here is a heat gun if you chose to go that route. But I mean, they literally include all the way down to the gloves and the pry tool, which is better than I can say for most accessories because like most things they assume you have something, but I guess Tesla realizes that a lot of Tesla owners are not car people that would already have a lot of things. So let's get to it now that we've kind of unboxed these. Uh, I'm going to first start with applying these uh, alignment stickers. So I've got the alignment stickers put on. So we have left, the center one, and then the right. So I just aligned it with the edge there. It doesn't have to be like super, super perfect, um, but I tried to align it as best as I could. Uh, and now we're going to use the pry tool, but Tesla does recommend that you use uh, some heat to get these off, but I'm just going to carefully pry these off because it's warm anyway. And I apologize if there's some AC uh, fan noise, but if the Final Cut Pro voice isolation tool is working well, you hopefully don't hear too much of it. So I'm just starting at this edge here. I use the pry tool to kind of hook it. And I'm going to be peeling slowly because in my experience with dealing with adhesives like this, if you peel slowly and allow it to actually kind of release as you're pulling it off, you don't end up with as much residue. So see how it's coming off here? Whereas if I were to just pull super aggressively, it would actually separate the adhesive and leave some behind or leave some residue behind. Whereas this is coming off really cleanly and not leaving any residue behind. So just like that, all that came off without any heat, which is super nice. Um, but we're still going to use the alcohol wipe and clean that off because there still is a little bit of residue and just a little bit of moisture from cleaning it. And you can kind of see the outline of some of the dirt that built up around them, which is totally normal. All right, so we're past these steps of removing the original sills. We're now on to the install eliminated sills portion of the instructions. So Tesla recommends just installing the lit door sill next, but I'm going to be installing the sticker these stickers for the alignment of the little uh, magnet sensor first because that way when I use this alcohol wipe I can clean this area and the area where the little sensor will go at the same time because otherwise these will dry out too fast that I won't be able to use that on this as well so that way I can kind of do both at once all right so we've got the sticker installed here so you first align this with the speaker grill and then you align the arrow here so that's where the little thingy is gonna go so we're gonna clean that with alcohol we're going to clean this with alcohol and then we're going to just stick the two things on and then we'll literally be done on this side. So this is super easy. And I must say this whole system of these stickers is super clever. So whoever at Tesla designed this, kudos to you because you made this really easy. All right. So I removed the protective covering from the door sill itself. We're now going to peel this uh, 3M adhesive off. All right. So the adhesive is peeled. So now we're just going to stick it on there. And just for sake of not messing it up, I'm going to set the camera down so I can align this properly and then I'll show you afterwards. But we're just gonna be aligning it to the left and right pieces and then that top piece. So you can see I have it aligned here, at least very close. Uh, so I haven't stuck it down fully. It looks like it's very slightly crooked, so I'm going to adjust it before I fully stick it down. There we go. So now that it's down, we're just going to give it a nice firm press all along. just like that, just so that they're nice and on there firmly. Uh, and let's just show you a stock one compared to this lit one. So you can see it is a little bit thicker, but otherwise looks pretty much the same. You can see the little bit of lightness there because that's where the light will come out. 
Then we can then peel these. Uh, maybe a little bit tricky with gloves on, but I'm gonna use a little pry tool just to catch the edge and peel them off. But these are kind of uh, like post-it note level of adhesion. So pretty easy to get off. They're not super sticky or anything because they're not intended to be on there permanently. Uh, and then we're gonna stick the little uh, magnet sensor on. So basically same thing with this. We just peeled off the adhesive backing uh, and then we're just gonna stick it on there. And I'm just gonna make sure it's aligned properly before I fully stick it on and I'll show you. So there you have it. You basically just stick it uh, in the little hole on the thing and then you can peel these off because you don't need them anymore. And these are pretty loose sticking too. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier to get off because it's on the paint. So I'm gonna use the pry tool just to catch the edge and get that off and I'll show you the final result. So here we have the final result, all the little guiding pieces removed at the door sill. You get the little uh, magnet sensor or magnet. I'm not 100% sure which side is which, but it doesn't really matter. That's what activates the door sill. So let's shut the door for the first time. I'm not sure if we're gonna be really able to see it considering how bright it is, but you can see there it's glowing, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the passenger side and then we'll pull it into a darker area and I'll actually show you what these look like because these are gonna really shine in a darker area or at night. And I'm not sure there's a ton of value in showing you how to do both sides. Uh, it's basically the exact same, just with the slight variation of the alignment sticker, but uh, I'm gonna skip showing you that and I'll show you the final result here. Sure. All right, finished installing the passenger side and now let's take a look at how they look now that I've moved into a little bit darker area so you can actually see them. So we'll go ahead and open the door and there we have it. So. Uh, I think they look quite nice. I'm still not entirely sure I'd pay $250 for them, but for 3,000 referral points, I think they're a pretty decent value. Um, they do turn off automatically after about 30 seconds, so that way you don't have to worry about the batteries draining uh, if you leave the door open accidentally or you're loading or whatever you're leaving the door open for. Um, but overall, I think they're a pretty clever product, no drilling, uh, very easy installation overall, so I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, here you can see they just turned off and they look pretty nice even just off. And we're now on the passenger side and don't be alarmed if they seem to not turn on the first time. It seems like they take two door openings to actually activate them. So they didn't come on the first time but they came on the second time on both. So don't be alarmed by that but this side looks nice as well. So I think it just adds a pretty nice touch and I do have the abstract ocean uh, puddle lights and uh, footwell area light so that adds quite a bit of extra light as well so i think that's a welcome improvement but anyway if you guys are interested in these door sills i'll put a link down below they're just directly from tesla or if you have referral points they're in the referral shop on your tesla app uh, no affiliate link or anything like that but if you are interested in supporting the channel through some products uh, I have the 3D mats affiliate link down below. I also have my Amazon shop and I have my Tesla referral. Um, and my personal Tesla re referral is full at the max of 12, at least as of right now. Um, but I have set up a redirect actually that some of my friends and I have set it up that it'll just rotate uh, to different people that may not otherwise get referrals. So uh, I'm definitely spreading the love on the referrals and I thank you guys a lot for supporting the channel through those referrals, through purchasing through the affiliate links, things like that. But if you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.